Hello, everyone. My name is Jennifer Escalera, and I'm an energy therapist. I help people transform their stressors and traumas and relationships issues into more glorious blissfulness in their life through meditation, crystal therapy, as well as any type of vibrational sound healing, beautiful work. And I'm here today with the beautiful Reverend Emma. She is a body and soul massage therapist and doTERRA Aroma Touch spiritual guidance, wedding aficionat, shaman medicine woman, and healing minister. Her practice is located in La Crescenta with over 17 years of experience in creating and blessing your special day. So thank you, Emma, for joining us today. Thank you, Jennifer. I'm so glad to be here with you. Oh, goody, good. So the reason why I called you in today is because I wanted to talk to people who, ex what your experience is like with meditation. And I thought that you would be a great teacher, a great uh, person to tell us about your meditation experience. So let me start with the questions. Okay. So how long have you been meditating? It seems all my life, but uh, basically um, different forms of meditation. I didn't even know they were called meditation until I realized what I was doing. So I would say probably about 30 years, maybe longer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, since I've been in my own practice um, in this realm of healing, it's been an air every day, pretty much an everyday um, ritual. Mm -hmm. uh, ceremony, a daily practice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how did you get to that point of it becoming a daily practice for you? Well, like I mentioned before, I didn't know that that's what I was doing. In my moments of silence and having, you know, like this dialogue, internal dialogue, um, I found that being quiet, finding silence, asking a question and waiting for it to answer, um, became very beneficial through time, like manifesting. Um, and so I learned that, you know, what if I really became very quiet for not like, like just a moment, but maybe a little longer of duration from five minutes to even a half hour, sometimes even longer um, when guided. But uh, yeah, it's very beneficial just to be quiet. Yeah. Yeah. And is that a style that you use to meditate is quietness or is there a particular style of meditation that's your go-to? Well, now that I'm listening to both of us use the word quiet, um, it's more of a, like a, a stillness. I think that's what that is. Hmm. It's a stilling of my mind um, with pleasant surprise, uh, great benefits if I just quiet down my mind and just tell it to be an observer um, and a listener. And when it does that, it cooperates so that I can, you know, I can have these experiences. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I, would, I call it quiet, but it's actually a little bit of silence. And, silence. Yeah. And do you remember when you first started meditating to how you meditate today? Um, what were some of the challenges, or if you had any challenges, what, was, what were those early years like for you in meditation? Well, I think it came about um, <clears throat> during challenging times, of course, you know, like prayer. Um, I didn't realize that I was in constant prayer. But in meditation, how my meditation came about is I was searching for um, an internal healing. I had breast cancer. It came about. And... Um, fear was prevalent and I didn't know where to go with that. So I just learned to close my eyes and go within. And then this beautiful term came to me and it said, if you go within, you never go without. Mm. And so when I heard that. I thought, wow, I need to go there more often. Yes, that sounds awesome. So, yes, I think sometimes in times of challenges, we will find a way. Um, it, it allows us to do things we never thought we could do or would do. So meditation became a part of my healing. And um, so it continued even after I did heal from the inside out. And now it's just a daily, like very simple. I can, I can tell you what my current practice is. Yeah, please. Okay. 
My current practice is sunrise mm -hmm. every day. Sunrises, whether you could see the sun or not. Cup of coffee and conversations with God. Mm -hmm. And I just sit on this beautiful balcony we have. We have a view of the east where the sun does rise. Mm -hmm. And it shines right through my bedroom. So it wakes me up like clock, clockwork. And then I just get my cup of coffee and I get all excited to sit on this balcony mm -hmm. and peer into this invisible veil of where I ask God, what, what would you like me to do today? Or mm -hmm. even more so, what are we going to do today? Yeah. Um, and then closing my eyes to allow that to unveil. And even if it's not on the spot or in that moment, during the course of the day, it reveals itself to me. And I have many beautiful, pleasant surprises um, and miracles. Mm. So it's been for a long time. Um, I'm all, I've always been happy, but I'm happier. Yeah. Because I practice. Yeah. Just, you know, waking up and brushing your teeth. Yeah. Taking That's carving it. out a few minutes, you know, a few minutes of my time and sitting on the balcony and hearing the wind chimes and watching the colors of the sun rise and um, falling in love with that and washing over me it just washes over me and, and and it's a subtle and beautiful sensation mm -hmm. a sensation you know it's like a you know like soft gentle waterfall yeah yeah and i love that what's that just spiritual ones. <laughs> awesome. Yes. And I love that you use the example of the sunrise because mm -hmm. um, one of the important things that I feel as a messenger of, of um, meditation is getting out of that idea that it has to be in a room with other meditators or that you're all in, you know, cross-legged position sitting, you know, mm -hmm. I want to be able to teach people that there's different ways that you could use your meditation practice. And I love the theme of the sun rising and going with that time frame as well, because that is a very uplifting time to give you um, divine wisdom. Absolutely. Yeah. As you start, fresh day, fresh perspective. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's kind of like the same way that I found. Um, God was just to ask, you know, to reveal itself to me. And my message, the message was to meet me on the balcony. Yeah. And when I did, you know, I watched the sunrise and the colors and the, you know, the beautiful oranges and purples and crimsons and, and I started to cry. And then I said, okay, God, I'm ready for you now. And it said, <laughs> didn't you just see me? Right. <laughs> me? Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Yeah. Silly me. Silly me. Yes. That's a good example. So people who might not be familiar with that connection to God or spirit, yeah. whatever name you want to give it, love. Yeah. Um, it's right there in that moment. Yes. And it's everywhere. It's in nature. It's, you know, nature walks are great. You can do a walking meditation, just walking in Descanso or Angelus Crest or something, you know, where you find, um, you know, that feeling. You will feel the peace. Mm -hmm. You will feel the joy. You will feel spirit. Yeah. Um, and it's very personal and it's very um, interpersonal. Mm -hmm. you know? So, yeah. Yeah. Let's meditate. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and what's, what's something that you could share with us about how you incorporate the wisdom of what meditation teaches you in your everyday life or everyday mm -hmm. type of situation what is mm -hmm. the practice revealing for you in those day-to-day -day moments well i find that you know we use a lot of words you know people seek joy and peace but without knowing what it is and what that means to you individually and we go about like they're invisible or they're someday some, you know, down like a, you know, a carrot in the sky or something. But through meditation, what I've learned is these moments of clarity that even a word like joy, to be in joy, is the infallible sign that God exists or divine exists within. Mm -hmm. 
So I find that joy every single day. I, it's like filling my cup up. Mm -hmm. You know, no one has to fill it up for me. I'm filling it up with that word or, or peace. What does peace look like or feel like to you or to me? Mm -hmm. You know, and sometimes uh, peace or joy or happy. You know, I can, I can break out in tears just knowing that I'm going to have my first cup of coffee. It brings so much joy <laughs> and so much um, happiness to me. The warmth of it, the scent of it, you know, it just has all these mm. meanings. So words without meaning, words without action, they mean nothing. Right. Words without right. deeds mean nothing. Mm -hmm. So to find what that means and then do an action to complement it, to click it in, um, it's very, it's an impression, it leaves an impression mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. you can always tap into. Yeah. So you know, to feel it, joy is instantly for me. So I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was going to say that through your stillness, you've been able to find action. Yes. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Yeah. That's you know, because awesome. I never, I never understood what it meant to be still and know that I am. Mm -hmm. I thought you had to really just sit. Right. But actually it was just to still my mind to, not be the doer all the time, not always having to figure it out, but to just allow it to seek you out. Mm -hmm. um, it said, allow, allow it to find you. Mm -hmm. mm, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Well, you've given us a lot of wisdom today, Emma. Is there um, anything that you find could be a number one tip or maybe just refresh us again on a number one tip that will help others to easily incorporate meditation in their daily lives. I, I think the desire to want to meditate, mm. just the question of how do I meditate? Um, there are many ways to meditate. So finding what it works for you and it will work for you. It will keep you in that um, focus. I, I call it staying on course. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. there's so many distractions in the world. Yeah. But to start yeah. with me every day, you know, if I can do me every day, then I can work with anybody all day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? mm -hmm. All day long, because it does not deplete me. It fulfills me. And uh, for me, it was once a passion, and now it becomes my purpose. Mm, awesome. So, yeah. Doing this, this every day. Yes, yeah. yes. This is very beautiful. Oh, well, thank you for your time, Emma, and for all of your wisdom. And I hope anyone who is watching or listening finds their connection to meditation and their calling to it. And thank you so much for setting that tone for the rest of us to learn how. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Bless you, Jennifer. Bye. I love you. you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Bye.